Hey, what's up guys, it's Charles. Before we get into today's video, we just launched the 12 days of Christmas deals. That means that we are gonna have a deal every day coming out for the next 12 days. So you're gonna wanna stop into fitmentindustries.com each day to check out what deal just went live. So go check it out, fitmentindustries.com. It's live right now, enjoy the video. You ever have one of those days where you go out to the garage, you might be like running a little behind for work already. So you, you're already in a little bit of a rush. You hop in the old project car, strap into the harness, hit the admission and nothing. You got nothing, no lights, no crank, nothing. No worries though, surely you have jumper cables somewhere, right? Like they gotta be somewhere within the mess of stuff. It'll only take you about 10 minutes to locate them. And then you have to call your roommate or significant other over to move their vehicle so you can jumpstart yours. And now that you're running even more behind, you don't think to take a look at anything else before you get going. And then you realize like halfway to work that you're not going to make it because like you're gonna run out of gas because your car gets like five miles to the gallon. But that is a very specific scenario. However, if anything like that has ever happened to you or continuously happens to you, first of all, I'm sorry. And second of all, I got some news, my friend. It might be time to go pick yourself up a daily driver. And I know, right, I know. The thought of going and getting another car just for the purpose of actually doing a car thing and getting you from point A to point B sounds pretty boring, but it doesn't have to be, right? Lucky for you, we put together a quick list of some great daily drivers that can be picked up for relatively cheap, and that's exactly what we are going to be going over today. But real quick, before we go ahead and just dive into today's video, please, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe, it helps us out a ton. And if you're looking for wheels, tires, or suspension for your project car, your box, or your new daily driver, don't forget to check us out over at fitmentindustries.com. Anyway, first up on the list, we have a car that really just seems to find its way into about almost every automotive list out there, and that is technically for a good reason, and that, of course, is the Honda Civic Si. The Honda Civic has been around since the early 70s and has always just been one of those cars that just gets the job done. They are great all-around commuter cars. However, Honda couldn't just leave it at that, no sir. In the 1980s, we saw the introduction of the first SI trim, also branded the Honda CRX SI, and then later, the Honda Civic SI hatchback. Offering a little more horsepower and some sportier looks, the SI was created and catered more towards the enthusiast market. Generations after generations of the Civic and the SI trim have led us up to now currently the 10th generation of the Honda Civic, giving us a large amount of them on the market with plenty of generations and styles to choose from, available in both two-door, four-door, automatic, and manual options, the Civic SI is a perfect candidate for a fun daily driver. It really kind of goes without saying that the Civic is a massive platform for the aftermarket world, meaning that parts are relatively pretty cheap. And even though we are talking about cars for daily driving, it doesn't mean that you can't throw some modifications at it. Wheels, tires, and suspension, of course, great starting point, you know, but things like a lip kit or an exhaust, just simple things like that to really make it your own, and it's not going to affect the daily drivability of the car at all. Civic SIs are pretty readily available for the most part when you do some researching, and they're not going for all that much depending on the generation. Even if you don't want to swing an SI trim, you can still find some manual options and some other trims as well and make them look just as good. If you spend a little extra cash and you can find yourself in a newer model where you won't have to worry about any maintenance issues or you know cosmetic issues as far as rust or anything like that you're gonna be good to go next up on the list we kick it over to the European car world and talk about one of my favorite daily cars that I have ever owned which is a 3 series BMW back in the day when I was looking around for a cheap daily for winter and stumbled across a $900 e36 325i had just under 200,000 on the odometer was a four-door manual transmission and was rear-wheel drive now Probably wouldn't recommend that specific loadout for a reliable daily, but hey, you know, last me five years. Three series BMWs are just an all around fantastic platform to have some fun with that you can make look good and it is going to be a fun, comfortable daily driver for you. With them too, you get quite a few options to choose from as well. Two door, four door, and even a good old wagoon. Rear wheel drive and all wheel drive options available as well. The E90 and E92 generations of the three series are an extremely popular platform with their naturally aspirated engines and even turbo six cylinder engines too. The 335i's being some of the more popular of the bunch as they come with a pretty decent tuning potential, which always brings, you know, just a little more fun to a car you're gonna be driving the majority of the time. Price really ranges all over the place depending on the year, the model, the mileage, and all of that. But if you can find one with the specs that you're looking for and it's been well taken care of, you can have a good time with your own three series BMW. Car number three on the list of some fun, great daily drivers would be one that's a little near and dear to my heart, which of course is the Toyota 86 and Subaru BRZ. 
These cars can be scooped up for insanely cheap right now and they are a fantastic daily driving machine. Owning an FRS myself, it is my daily driver during the summer months up here in Wisconsin. However, I do know plenty of people that run theirs year round through the snow and all. A rear wheel drive manual coupe that is a ton of aftermarket support and they are a ton of fun to drive nonetheless. Not really much else to really say other than if you're looking for some more features and a little more comfort, look for some of the newer years as they've come with some more features and comfort options that may make your daily drive a little bit better. So skip past the 2013 and 2014 models. Kind of going along with that, if you want to live the Subaru flat engine lifestyle and you have a little more to dish out, you can find yourself having a good time with the WRX. All wheel drive makes it great for winter, four doors makes it a little more practical, and of course, you get the added turbocharger as well. Now I know WRXs tend to get kind of a bad rep for not being the most reliable and it may sound odd for a daily driver, but a lightly modded WRX is kind of the go-to around here anyway, because they can handle the weather and they are still fun to drive. Which leads us to our last car of the day. When I was going around talking to the team about some of the cars that they think are some fantastic fun daily drivers, there was one guy that swore up and down that he had the best daily driver of all time. And you know who that was? It was Mr. Dakota. And you know what he said? Oh yeah, you already know. The Volkswagen Jetta TDI Wagoon. And honestly, I have to agree with him. If you don't know, Dakota did own one of these for a while and he absolutely loved it. They come in a manual. It's a wagon, AKA Wagoon, which automatically gives bonus points. It's a turbo diesel and it was comfortable as all hell. They can be scooped up for pretty cheap. Get rid of the EGR and DPF, throw a tune on it with some wheels, tires, and suspension that you got from fitmanindustries.com. You got yourself a turbo diesel wagon that gets 50 miles to the gallon. And you want, you know, like what else do you really want in life? It was a great car. It was a fantastic car. That thing would live forever. So there you have it. Those are some of our top picks for some great, fun daily drivers that you can go snag right now. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below and let us know what cars you think that we missed. Of course, don't forget to check out wheels, tires, and suspension all over fitmentindustries.com. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries. We will see you later. Peace.